Well, Liz Fowler is a perfect representative of the revolving door problem in Washington, D.C. Now, you have to understand uh, where she came from and where she went to understand how Washington works. First of all, uh, she used to be in Max Box's office. Uh, she was one of his top staffers. In fact, she worked for healthcare uh, in the healthcare division under Max Baucus. Okay, well, that sounds lovely. And where did she go after that? Well, she went to WellPoint. Now, that's an, uh, a healthcare company. What did she do for them? Well, she was the vice president for public policy and external affairs. In other words, their top lobbyist. Of course, but that's just the beginning of the story. So you work for the Senate, and Max Baucus, is, of course, a senator uh, from Montana, Democrat. You go to a company and you uh, get, use all your connections. Then what do you do next? Well, the door revolves again. You go back and work for Max Box again. And there you become the head of his health care uh, policy, right as he is beginning to be the, the senator in charge of passing health care, what is now known as Obamacare. Okay, well, it's not convenient. You got paid a ton of money from WellPoint in between the two jobs that you had working for Max Baucus. And in that time, she became the person who actually started writing the bill. So she's the one who wrote Obamacare in the Senate. She's shepherding that process. But that wasn't enough. So what happened? As you see there, moved over to the White House. After she's done with Max Baucus, uh, they put her in charge of overseeing implementation of Obamacare. Okay, okay, we're not done. Then she also was a special assistant to the president for health care and economic policy at the National Economic Council. So man, after being a lobbyist, she goes back into government, writes things, and what the funny thing is, it turns out her former company benefited tremendously from, uh, from uh, President Obama's health care proposal. But what did she do next? You might have guessed it. Goes over to Johnson & Johnson to be their top lobbyist. Now, what did Johnson & Johnson get from the health care bill she helped to write, shepherd, implement, and guide through the entire process? Well, we are not allowed to negotiate with pharmaceutical companies like Johnson & Johnson. So we have to pay higher bills. By the way, we're also not allowed to re-import drugs from Canada, which gives Johnson & Johnson a monopoly, along with other pharmaceutical companies. So the rules were rigged by the person who wrote the health care bill and is now receiving a tremendous amount of money from the people who take advantage of those rules. This system is insane. Now, as Politico put it, while she was in charge of the health care bill and the writing of it, quote, if you drew an organizational chart of major players in the Senate health care negotiations, Fowler would be the chief operating officer. Now, I bring you that so you're not, you don't misunderstand this. She's not like a bit player. She's the player, the chief operating officer. And then, uh, I want to give you one more quote here. Elizabeth Fowler is leaving the White House, they say, uh, for a senior level position leading global health policy at Johnson & Johnson's Government Affairs and Policy Group. You know what that means? That means she's the top lobbyist and Johnson & Johnson is saying, thank you very much, Liz Fowler. We really appreciate all those gifts that you just gave us. You know what, one more from Mother Jones. Mother Jones, James Ridgway proclaimed Big Pharma the big winner in the health care bill. Gee, I wonder how that happened. You see, this is Washington in a nutshell. It's, that's why they call it the revolving door. That's how they all get rich. The Johnson & Johnson, WellPoint get rich, Liz Fowler gets rich. When Max Baucus retires from the Senate, he will be enormously wealthy because he will also become a lobbyist. All those guys who said they weren't going to be lobbyists, like Chris Dodd, what do you do? Top lobbyists for the movie industry. Every one of them turns into a lobbyist. And by the way, an amazing report. Uh, turns out that when they leave office and become lobbyists, they get a raise in the ballpark. And this is the legislators, let alone the Liz Fowlers of the world. Over 1,400% raise. Gee, I wonder why they sell us out. I can't quite tell. There's a stink in Washington, a stench. And it's not about Liz Fowler. She's just a symbol of what they all do. This is what they do to us. And if you ask them, they think it's perfectly normal. Well, I got to earn a living, right? So I got to find a way to please the people who pay me a lot of money. And I will do that at your expense. And it is what it is. And you got to deal with it. No, no, no. We don't have to deal with it. 
We have to change it. 